struggle is real I am almost 36 weeks pregnant and it's a day for Christmas everything's a mess I really don't know where this video is going I know that I want to do some organizing maybe some cleaning we'll see but working with this <laughs> big belly here I am out of breath I'm tired I have a headache um, it's gonna be rough but we're gonna get through it and try to get some stuff done before this baby gets here in just a couple of weeks. I have less than less than four weeks left. So getting down to the wire, I'm so ready for him to be out. They're not a part of the video. They're just they're just sitting on here. But these were a Christmas gift yesterday, and I cannot wait to use them. These are like uh, I guess shapewear support wear after for postpartum by Belly Bandit. I'm very excited for those to get my body back. Hopefully, we'll see. But this is what I'm gonna use today. So this is just a makeup organizer that I asked for for Christmas because right now, all of my makeup and everything I use to get ready is in this drawer and it is not working. This is a disaster. I can't find anything. It's impossible to organize because this drawer is very small and I just have too much stuff. So I need to go through this declutter a little bit and organize inside of this makeup organizer anyway i was interrupted for goldfish so goldfish has been found but this has all different compartments in it i didn't want something that was just open because i felt like if it was just an open space it would be just as difficult as this drawer is and this also i can just take out of the bathroom and i can store in the closet right outside of the bathroom so that that way it's not taking up space in this drawer and that frees up some space for maybe some other things. So yeah, we are going to take all this apart and I'm so excited to actually have everything sorted and it will make getting ready a lot easier for me. Like with any organization project, I'm going to start by completely emptying out the space that I'm working with. And initially, I had just been taking everything out and placing it right onto my bathroom sink to organize, but that was not working. So I ended up grabbing a bin so that I could bring it out to my dining room and organize it on my table where I could sit down and I could really look at everything and not feel so cramped. It's like I waited all my life, so happy that I found paper thin you haven't always been this shy but haven't felt this in a while no. so sad when we are apart but if you leave you break my heart i need you to need me too stay with me when it's getting dark like i said i wanted to film this or organize all of this on my dining room table but my dining room table was covered in junk this was filmed the day after Christmas, so I had stuff absolutely everywhere that needed to be put back where it belongs or find a place for it. The table needed to just be cleaned off. So before I could even get to the organization, we're going to take a couple of minutes to clear off the space that I'm going to be working on. I recently got these placemats. I think they were from Crate and Barrel. I want I think they were from Crate and Barrel. And they're just easy wipe placemats and I really like them because they protect my table. So if we have hot food or something on the table, it's not going to burn the table. Um, but they're also just like really easy to clean, which is one of my favorite things about them. So I will link them in my description box below if you guys are looking for something similar.
Now we are going to get to organizing and decluttering all of my makeup. So back in the day, I never would have wanted to do this. I never would have wanted to put my makeup into a makeup bag like this and not have it just sitting on my countertop where I could reach it. But this has actually been working out awesome for me so far. It takes me so much less time to get ready in the morning because I'm not just sifting through a drawer that is full of stuff and not able to find anything. I know where everything is now because of the way that I organized this. Eventually, we are having renovations done to our house and our bedroom is turning into a bathroom. We're putting on an addition for our bedroom. And then at that point, I'll have a big bathroom with a double vanity and all the storage space. But for right now, I have to make do with what I have. And this solution has really worked well for me so far. This video ended up being kind of all over the place, so if you guys keep on watching, you're going to see me finish up organizing the bathroom. We're going to do a couple more little organization things in there. There's also some cleaning motivation, and then right at the very end of the video, I'm giving you a sneak peek of Carson's bedroom makeover. His bedroom makeover is a long time coming, and it's going to be a very slow process, but I wanted to make sure that I included the footage that I have so far for those of you who are interested. Okay, so this is how I've decided to organize it. So I've got brushes up here. I have more brushes than this. Um, probably don't need very many more brushes than this, but these are the ones that I pretty much use every day. So I wanted to make sure I had these accessible. And then um, this one I couldn't fit in there because of the weird handle but uh this is another favorite so definitely wanted that in there i've got um an eyeshadow palette and that's like a i don't know i guess like a contouring bronzing <laughs> type palette that i use literally every single day so these two i want to keep in here and then eyelash curler right there this is all of my like everyday makeup so stuff that i reach for every single day and always is lost inside of that drawer from hell so I'm excited to have this separated out and easy for me to get to and then in this container I have other makeup that I don't use as often but I do still use it sometimes so I wanted it easily accessible and then this is like skincare related stuff so everything is all <laughs> compartmentalized and it makes me so happy and this is going to be so much easier for me than trying to dig through this drawer. Plus, when I have the baby, not that I'm probably going to be wearing makeup after I have him, but just in case I do decide to put on some makeup while I'm in the hospital, I can just um, easily seal this up and it's good for travel. So everything's already packed and ready to go. The shelf on this bathroom cabinet was covered in things that honestly I was never using. And a lot of these things are actually products that I can't use right now because I'm pregnant. So they have ingredients in them that are not safe for pregnancy and they've just been sitting on that shelf forever, driving me insane and taking up space. So I'm removing everything from off that shelf and I'm gonna find a better way to put everything back so that it makes more sense. Sometimes I get scared to dive into it. I want you lying next to me. Yeah, I want your body, body, your body too. Because this bathroom is so small, if I have too much clutter where the eye can see, it makes the bathroom feel even that much smaller. So I wanted to really limit what I was actually putting on the shelf that was visible in the bathroom and make sure that everything else was kind of stored away where we can close a door and it's not making you feel quite so claustrophobic.
We are not doing anything fancy for this drawer, but I'm just going to put some things in there that I need to be able to access easily. So hairbrushes, clips, elastic bands, makeup remover wipes, things along those lines. I have been trying to find a new vanity for this bathroom for quite some time and I've definitely struggled to find exactly what I'm looking for. I think I have a very specific vision, but I also want to keep it within budget. I don't want to go crazy for this vanity. I really want one where the sink sits on top of the vanity. I cannot remember what that's called, but um, that's what I prefer. I feel like that would open up a lot more storage space down below, which would be really helpful in such a small bathroom. While I was in there, I decided to just quickly clean the bathroom, so I'm spraying down the shower so that I can wipe it out. I'm going to let that sit for a minute since it is scrubbing bubbles, and you're supposed to let the scrubbing bubbles sit for a couple of minutes and work its magic before you scrub it away. It's funny, in a video, I want to say a couple months ago, maybe, I posted a video where I had gone to Target and they gave me some of the Clorox, I think it's Sentiva, um, samples. And I had said in the video that they smelled good or whatever, but that I wasn't going to go out of my way to buy them in the future. I was just testing out the sample. But when I was in Target, I just still happened to see the full size of them and I decided to go ahead and buy the full size Clorox Sentiva disinfecting wipes and they do actually smell really good and I like them a lot. Now we're going to go ahead and clean the kitchen. I was not planning on filming this, but I figured that I might as well and just give you guys a little bit of extra cleaning motivation in this organizing video. So we're going to empty the dishwasher and then we're going to load it right back up with dirty dishes. Like I said, this was filmed the day after Christmas. And although we did not go anywhere on Christmas, we didn't see anyone on Christmas, I still had a big mess left over from just the three of us having Christmas at home.
something I am so looking forward to when we do get our renovations done and I get my brand new kitchen is a different sink. This sink, um, I think it's because it has a hot and a cold faucet that are separate and not together. I'm not used to that. I've actually never had that in a kitchen before. In my old house, I just had one single faucet that you would turn side to side so you could make it warm, you could make it cold, you could make it hot. Uh, any combination of the three but now this having like a separate faucet for each i feel like my water is either so hot it is burning your hands off or it's cold so it's really tricky when i'm trying to hand wash dishes or rinse things i just cannot get the temperature right and i cannot wait to have a new sink with a new faucet that i can control the temperature a lot easier I have been very torn about what look I'm going for when I do the renovations. I know that we are knocking down the wall where the fridge is currently and we're going to be putting a kitchen island and it's going to be really open. But as far as color scheme goes, I have a really hard time and I, I just want to make sure that the kitchen cabinets that I pick I'm going to be happy with for a very, very long time, if not forever. So I don't know if I want bright white. I don't know if I want a light gray. I don't know. I really don't know. I go back and forth all the time because I feel like the styles right now are constantly changing. I even saw green cabinets the other day that I thought were absolutely beautiful, but how long are those going to be in for, if you know what I mean? Are they going to go out of style? So you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below as far as kitchen style. Should I go classic? Should I go modern? Should I just go completely out there and do something entirely different than everybody else? My options are literally endless and it's such a daunting thing to try and pick all of this stuff. Now that all of the dishes were loaded up into the dishwasher or hand washed, I'm going to just dry off the ones that I hand washed and get them put away.
If you have made it this far into the video, now I'm going to show you guys the beginning of Carson's bedroom makeover. So this is what we're starting with. We actually used to have really dark furniture. We recently bought him some nice lighter furniture from Pottery Barn Kids. So that's already in his room but the walls really needed to be painted. They were all a light shade of pink and they've been that way since we moved in and it was just time. Carson requested an orange room, so we picked this color from Bear and it's called Roasted Seeds. It's kind of a muted orange and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. This actually wasn't our original plan to paint a wall orange. We were planning to do a shiplap wall and then paint that orange, but I just got too pregnant, too much time went by and this is a project that we're gonna have to save until the spring. But my husband is working on painting three of the walls white, and then I'm going to be painting one wall that roasted seeds color, and then we also added some paper dinosaur decals, which you'll see in a minute, to give him a second accent wall. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm close off even though just painting the wall orange was not the original plan, it still came out really nice and it looks very cute. It adds so much life to his room. His room was just so bare and that light pink was terrible before. So it, it looks a lot nicer and I can't wait to give him that shiplap wall that we had planned before. But for now, his room looks a thousand times better. You are supposed to let your paint cure for 30 days before you put any sort of wallpaper or stickers or anything on it, but I was impatient and I put these paper dinosaur decals on later on that night after all the paint had dried and so far everything's fine. It's been several weeks, if not more than a month since I did this and everything is perfectly fine. So Carson wanted to help a little bit with putting some of these on. It took me a while to get this done because I actually didn't buy enough the first time, so I had to place a second order. No going back, there's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that, I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying heights. Now flash forward to the day that I was actually filming the rest of this video, like organizing the bathroom and everything else, and I was putting on the rest of the paper dinosaur decals because they had arrived. So hopefully you guys like Carson's room so far. I have so much planned for his room, but it's going to take us a while because baby is going to be here while I'm doing these voiceovers one week from today. So we have a lot going on right now and I'm just not able to complete all the things that I really wanted to before baby got here and that's fine. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. Maybe it didn't make much sense <laughs> to all of you. I've got organizing, got cleaning, got making over my toddler's bedroom, so many things, but I still hope that you enjoyed the video and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to come follow me over on Instagram if you don't already and I hope you'll come back again next week for another video. Mm -hmm.